Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover how to create an irregularly shaped grid by converting areas in a grid file to no data. There are many reasons you may wish to convert areas in a grid file to no data. You may want to limit the map to display only an irregular area, such as a field, eliminating a portion of a map, such as contours extending through a lake, or to calculate the volume of surface area for a subset of your map. Surfer can assign no data during the grid creation process in the Grid Data Wizard, or after a grid is created. When assigning data through either method, you can use one or more polygons in a base layer, or any supported vector file format, such as Shape, DXF, or BLN. In this example, we will recreate this contour map and assign no data to the grid outside the red polygon shown on the map. To assign no data using one polygon while creating a grid, click Home, Grid Data, Grid Data. Click Browse to select your data file. Click Skip to End to skip the advanced gridding options and move to the output page. If you'd like more information about gridding data, please see the gridding or advanced gridding training videos. In the No Data Polygon Boundary section, because our polygon is open in a base layer, we can select it in this dropdown. If the polygon was not already imported into Surfer, we could click Browse to select a file. Next, toggle No Data Outside to assign no data to all the data nodes outside the boundary of the polygon. At the bottom of the dialog, you can choose to create a grid report and whether you'd like to create a map layer with the grid. Click Finish to create the grid. The grid and selected map type are created. The other method of assigning no data is to assign no data after the grid has been created. This example shows how to use the Assign No Data tool and how to use only one polygon to assign no data from a file that contains multiple polygons. To use only one polygon in the base layer, select the polygon of interest. Now that you've selected the polygon of interest, click Grids, Edit, Assign No Data. In the Input Grid section, we can either select an existing grid-based map from the drop-down list, or we can click the Browse button to navigate to our grid file. In the No Data Polygon Boundary section, we can either select a base map containing our polygon or polygons from the drop-down list, or we can click the Browse button to load in a vector file like a BLN file, a shape file, or a DXF file. In this case, we only want to use the selected polygon rather than all six that exist in the base layer. So we will check the box next to Selected Objects Only. Notice how the number of loaded polygons has changed from six to one. Verify the no data direction is correct. Lastly, we can change the output grid file name in the output grid section or we can click the Change File Name button to change the file path and type. If we leave the Add Grid as Layer 2 box checked, a new map layer will be created from the new grid. We will click OK to generate a new grid with the no data values assigned to grid nodes outside of the selected polygon. If an Export Options dialog appears, we can choose what type of georeferencing file is generated for this new grid file, and then click OK to generate the grid. Now that the file has been created, to update the map with the new grid file, select the Contours layer in the Contents window. On the General page in the Properties window, click the Open Grid button in the Grid File field. Select your new grid file and click Open. The contours are now limited to the selected boundary from the base layer. This concludes the video training for converting areas in a grid file to no data in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.